biggest showroom cavern that we have in the state of Texas. At 100 feet tall, 100 feet wide, and 350 feet in length. Now we're gonna get a better feel for how big this room is as we start to make our way up here in just a minute. But also as we do start to make our way to the top of this room, you'll get a good look at some of the stalagmites in this room, like these ones up here towards the front. And you're gonna notice that the stalagmites in this room are a lot more flat on the top than all the other ones that we've seen so far. And that's just because the water droplets in this room are falling from a higher distance and splashing out in a wider area, depositing that calcite out in a wider area. You're also going to notice that some of them have a yellow tint in the middle and a lighter colored outside, giving them the appearance of a fried egg. So they named those ones our fried egg stalagmites. Now we are going to start making our way up to the top of this room here in just a second. But before we got moving, does anybody have any questions for me? Yes? So like the original explorers that came through here and had to like, climb up boulders must have touched the rock in the wall and that didn't cause any kind of damage or even like the workers that have to put like the lights and stuff. How is that managed? So one of the most important things is making sure the oil on your skin doesn't get on, onto them. Uh, so like as far as like the workers and stuff, they know that if they are going to be walking around any formations, just gloves, usually long sleeves, things like that. Uh, those four explorers, they, we call them explorers, they were cave divers uh, first and foremost. So they, they also knew how to go throughout the cave with minimal damage also. Yeah, so uh, they kind of, they knew what they were doing. And then when they, uh, when they, they come through and do the work too, they know like they're going to pick the path with the least amount of formations to disturb as little as possible. And then usually the workers, they know, like, we got to be wearing gloves. They're going to be doing anything like that. So. Maybe just go, go with them. Take a closer look. Closer look on it. Ooh. It's not a completely like rectangular yeah. room. Yeah. And then plus, if you're measuring the volume, you'd have to take into account like all this rock that's down yeah. here too. Taking up half, half of that volume, yeah. So, okay, so the deeper, like from the roof to the bottom over there, yeah. that's where it's going uh, From the surface. No. So, oh. so from the surface, so the roof right here is also 55 feet thick. Yeah. So from the very surface on top of all on top of the roof until that last platform we were down in, that's 135 feet. Yes. On the way here, Captain was like, I want to go see the pizza. You what? It's Captain was like, I want to go see the pizza. And then the blue one.
we'll make our way up, guys. Just take notice of that orange light right there over the handrails. We'll talk about that in a second. We do have the cavern water right here. If anybody